Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to make some more miniature spring decor. Not as many as the minis have been, but still miniature. So, DIY number one. This one is so easy. And if you're still decorating for Easter, and if you've gone to Marshalls or TJ Maxx, they have a much larger scale <laughs> chocolate bunnies. And they're decor items, but man, they look just like chocolate. So I thought we could make some mini, mini bunnies using beads. And I just went in my stash and I grabbed a larger bead, a medium sized bead, two small beads and two oval shaped beads and attached them together with hot glue and then came in with some brown paint and painted the whole thing to make this look like a little mini chocolate bunny. And then I also went in my stash and grabbed some of those crayons that I had used in a previous video from Dollar Tree. I think you get like five different colors of bunny crayons, so cute. And I took that same brown paint and I painted the crayons so simple, so easy, and you have two of the most adorable mini bunnies ever. How cute are those little mini chocolate bunnies, and they'll go perfect with your mini decor. So DIY number two, we're going to make a little wreath and we're going to attach it to a little mini, I don't really know what I'm calling this. I wanted a wreath attached to like a, kind of like a shiplap board, I guess. So that's where we're going with this. I just thought the two looked good together. And I had these mini wreaths that I got from Hobby Lobby. I think I got six of them for a couple of dollars. And I'm just going to give them a really nice coat of chalk paint. And then I'm going to come in with my floral. And the best thing about minis is you can grab one sprig of floral and cut all the little flowers off. <laughs> and a little, it just goes a long way. <laughs> so I took some popsicle sticks. I put them together. This is going to be the backdrop for our wreath. And I painted that also in chalk paint. Then I came back in and added the floral and a bow. I thought white, it screams spring, and you can use this for the whole year, so it's not just Easter colors. And so I just layered this with the little white flowers. Then I came in with a lavender and cut the stems off of it. And I thought that added a nice green touch to this. And then I just used some of my Dollar Tree purple and white string to make a little bow. I came in with some burlap ribbon. I cut it down to size and made a little hanger out of burlap and hot glued it around the backdrop of popsicle sticks that we made. So cute. Oh my gosh. It just reminds me of like a fence with a wreath hanging off of it. And you can also use this so many different ways with your mini decor.
there it is super cute i put one of those little bunnies next to it so you can see exactly how small this wreath actually is so diy number three this is a um, semi mini <laughs> i had some spare wood that was already cut down and i know they're all not the same size but that's okay because i don't mind it kind of going getting smaller as it goes up and i just grabbed some spring colors teal and yellow and pink and painted each individual board the single color then i put them all together without gluing and I came back in and I just kind of went up with each color. So the teal went up onto the pink, the pink went up onto the yellow. I just thought that was super pretty. This is still a mini because you could put this little um, sign on a three-tiered tray for Easter and it would fit totally perfectly fine. So it's not as mini as what we've been doing, but it is a miniature sign. And I just love that using the felt bunny garland from Dollar Tree. I'm going to show you right now just my brainstorming process because at first I was trimming these down and I was going to use the bunny as a solid. But while trimming it, I was getting these awesome little bunny, um, I don't know what you would call it, thin little bunnies <laughs> i don't know i'll think of it but here's my brainstorming part i put some together and that was so cute but i just wanted a solid it looks like a little bunny stencil there we go but i never meant to use the outside of this i always meant to put a solid bunny on here but i thought the little um edges i trimmed off was so cute and original it made the perfect sign i added a little bow to it Boy, I was chatty Kathy, wasn't I? DIY number four. <laughs> Using some little canvases from Dollar Tree that I had used in a video probably a year ago doing an acrylic pour for 4th of July on them. I'm just going to take the canvas off. And I'll use four of them and some larger popsicle sticks here. I'm showing you the popsicle sticks because actually I didn't use the popsicle sticks. I was going to. I was going to paint these white come back in and add those popsicle sticks as like a shiplap effect on the back but then I went somewhere else <laughs> those little cotton balls you saw were actually the bunny tails off that garland so I took some paint and I painted those while they were drying I came back in with my fancy little wallpaper and I thought that would look much cuter than the shiplap so I just trimmed it and attached it with hot glue now, I know I was Chatty Cathy again, and we kind of bypassed those little bunny um, tails. Those were just the cotton bunny tails off that garland, and I grabbed some teal and yellow and pink, and I just got messy and just slathered them in paint and <laughs> set them aside to dry because we're going to be making one of those garlands that we are seeing all over the place. So, like I said, I took the wallpaper, I trimmed it down, and I attached it with some hot glue. And then I hot glued all three of these together, flipped it over and reinforced it with some popsicle sticks. Okay, so we're going to go back to those little bunny bunny tails. And this little cotton ball garland is like so popular right now. And I knew we could recreate it using those bunny tails. And I just added a little bit of hot glue to the end of my twine so that I could feed it through. I used a little pair of scissors to make the hole in each bunny tail. Now these little tails are a lot thicker than like a normal cotton ball. Um, so yeah, it took me a few tries of pushing my scissors through before I could get the twine to go through. But I did that on each one, rotating a color and then a white and then another color and then a white to make that cute little cotton ball garland. Thank you. 
Whenever I'm making garland with twine, I always leave it on the roll because that way you're not, you can cut it after the fact and you don't end up too short or too long. So once I had that exactly the way I wanted it, I hot glued it to my little window and this is just so stinking cute. It's a little just window with a garland hanging, but a miniature version of it. And what's great about this is that it's so simple that it's a great backdrop for any of your other decor. And if you've been making any of the minis that I've made, it's perfect to put some of those three tier trays in front of. It's just a really cute spring or Easter backdrop for your decor. If you wanted an even smaller version of this to fit in a tear tray, only use one canvas and maybe three of the little bunny tails. And that would be really cute for a three tiered tray. So DIY number five, I love making little furniture. So I'm gonna take this little bed from the doll furniture section of Dollar Tree and we're gonna make a chair out of it, which is so simple to do. Just take that little red um, plaid fabric off of it, grab some popsicle sticks and just kinda eyeball it, measure them out that that's going to be the backdrop of the chair and then I because it was a bed the front of the bed was a little taller than like the foot of the bed so we are going to cut down some popsicle sticks to even that out and then all you do is start assembling I always lay my popsicle sticks down and then kind of bring them down with my fingers and you have a real nice rounded effect Add some popsicle sticks to the back of that to secure them, and then you can attach it to the chair. Like I said, we are going to glue some popsicle sticks together so that the arms are both the same height. Once it's all secured with hot glue, all you got to do is paint it. I think little furniture on a tiered tray is so stinking cute. And you can put this on your tray, you can put a candle on it, you could put a little succulent on it, you could put one of those little chocolate bunnies on it. It's so many different ways that you can style this once it's all together. And it's so simple to make and very inexpensive. So once I had it all together, I painted it with chalk paint. Then I went into my wallpaper book and I grabbed a really pretty floral print and I reupholstered that chair with that floral print. And you have the cutest little farmhouse country chair for your decor. Mm -hmm. 
you know I can't measure so I always am eyeballing so you'll see me like put it up there and trim it and then if I need to I can trim it just a little bit more it usually works and then I just added some hot glue and I put that on to make it look like this was a upholstered chair and then I wrapped it around the edges and hot glued it to the bottom and there's your little farmhouse country chair made out of a dollhouse bed <laughs> so cute like I said a candle on this like a battery operated candle you don't want to catch your chair on fire <laughs> or a little plant you can use this all year round to decorate with I even put the wreath on the chair. That is so cute with those little bitty bunnies. So I just had to share this with you guys. On a recent thrift store shopping trip, I came across this bag. It was marked $4. And as we all know, beads are expensive, <laughs> especially the bigger wooden beads. They're pretty pricey on Amazon or even Walmart. I mean, you're looking at $10 plus for a big thing of wooden beads. And I opened, I got home, I opened up this bag and it just kept going. Look at this. Each bag was full of beads, but then it had another bag inside the bag with more beads and more beads. It reminded me of those little dolls that you open up and there's another doll, then another doll. <laughs> but this was a score. I paid $4 for all of these and I was just so excited. I just wanted to share it with you. So I have never found beads at thrift stores before, but now I'm going to start looking for them at every thrift store that I go to because I was very happy with this massive score of beads. That is all of them put together and ready to start crafting. <laughs> so I had a lot of fun with this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, consider subscribing to my channel. Ring that bell for more decor DIYs or thrift store hauls or probably some more minis because I'm having so much fun with them. And if you really liked it, smash that thumbs up button it helps my channel out so much i love y'all i hope y'all are doing well i hope you have a blessed and wonderful day and i'll see you again soon bye y'all